Okay, um, I suppose a few things um, before we get uh, too deeply into the details of uh, law and, and so forth here. Um, now, uh, as I say, you know, we've talked about the types of law, um, the criminal law, the uh, uh, civil law, uh, or tort law, um, and regulatory law. Uh, and criminal law applies to everybody. Tort law also applies to pretty much everybody, you know, if you do something wrong to somebody. Um, the regulatory law, um, it's a, uh, you know, a special case, uh, uh, what uh, industry you were in or what type of activity uh, you were involved in. If there are regulations for that, you have to follow the, the regulations. So, um, we, when we get into uh, uh, civil or tort law, uh, we're going to be uh, talking about uh, some contractual issues. Uh, uh, there's uh, possibly a bit of that in, in regulatory law as well. Uh, issues of liability uh, and negligence. And again, uh, negligence... If it's, you know, really gross negligence, we can get into criminal negligence and there it crosses the line between uh, civil law and into criminal law. So, uh, there's, there's all of that. Now, um, when it, it used to be that we would say, uh, you know, trying to explain why we were asking management to uh, do certain things, um, that, you know, we're, we're trying to prevent embarrassment. We're trying to keep your name out of the paper. Um, increasingly these days, uh, we are seeing that, you know, it used to be in the old days, uh, you know, the top guys never went to jail. Uh, that's not the case anymore. And so um, now uh, we are saying not just, you know, we're try to keep your name out of the paper, but we are trying to keep you out of jail. Um, that uh, some of the, the business dealings, the frauds, um, and some things that people don't think were frauds, but really, you know, they were not disclosing uh, actual profitability or uh, the reality of uh, their business model. Um, and uh, we're not following uh, the regulations uh, for securities and, and that sort of thing. Um, you know, we've, uh, uh, we can have uh, names like Enron and Madoff and uh, uh, oh, Bankman Freed and, uh, you know, those uh, types of, of people who have ended up in jail. Um, and, and so... You know, we, we are trying to prevent that. Uh, and, and so senior management should be aware that they can be held personally responsibility. And, and you know, we are, as far as possible, trying to uh, prevent, uh, well, not just, you know, them taking the rap for something, but prevent them from doing something wrong. That means that the enterprise and they themselves are, are liable and subject to prosecution. Uh, so, we uh, look at, uh, as I say, not just, you know, specific laws, um, but uh, the legal systems and um, international laws, um, uh, laws that, uh, for example, in the case of privacy, much of which is, is driven uh, by the old uh, European Union uh, privacy directives. Um, uh, we'll talk more about that when we get into the privacy area. Um, and, and now uh, GDPR. But um, the... Uh, because, uh, you know, that has had an influence in, in so many countries, and so many countries have based their privacy laws on uh, those directives... Uh, consistent with those directives because of 
the jurisdictional uh, principle in those directives, uh, then it becomes important to, to cover those things. But uh, by and large, um, as I mentioned before, these days, when we are dealing with law, uh, when we are dealing with um, attacks, uh, when we are dealing with frauds, we, when we are dealing with uh, all kinds of issues in regard to information security, um, we are seeing, you know, cyber warfare, nation state attacks, um, but uh, even the, you know, uh, fairly basic criminal activity will be going on in uh, different countries and you will have uh, somebody uh, specializing in, in cold calling uh, uh, based in Latvia and, and some uh, handing off the credit card information obtained to someone in Russia uh, who is then uh, uh, selling on the uh, credit card and uh, personal information uh, that goes with it to a specialist in, in North Korea who, who is uh, managing gangs of, of mules uh, who are then uh, uh, buying and selling easily saleable items uh, with those credit card numbers in order to obtain, uh, uh, you know, money uh, in, in a sort of a laundering fashion uh, by engaging in, in uh, an extensive fraud in, in that regard. So, uh, you know, it, it can happen in a number of different locations and therefore the uh, you know, we'll get into this in investigation and, and so forth, but it is important to know uh, not just the different laws, but the different legal systems, the different ways that the different legal systems look at evidence, consider evidence, um, how they uh, cooperate or don't cooperate. And of course, there's all kinds of political uh, considerations in regard to that. Um, but you know, we, we do have to know it in order to protect ourselves. Uh, you know, we cannot rely on what our law says and, and our uh, uh, policing systems for commercial crimes uh, will do for us locally. Um, we have to uh, be aware of the reality that our attackers can come from completely different venues. And, and are in, you know, a very different situation than we are.